JCut is a free and easy to use video editing program. The great thing about it is that it's a web-based program, so you can use it on any computer. After registering, log into your account. Click Create Movie. Even if you're returning to work on a previously saved movie, and then select your language, and you're ready to begin. If you are working on a previously saved video, go to the bottom left-hand corner and click on Open to select your video. Click one, and you can open or open as a copy. I would suggest opening as a copy when you're working and editing your videos. That way, if something happens to the one you're working on, you still have a master video to go back to. However, I'll be working on a new video. As you can see, to save time, I've already uploaded a couple of clips that I'll be using. To upload clips, go to Add Media, select your source, and choose your clip. The clips will be under the Videos tab. To get started, I'm going to type in my title right here. Something I've noticed is that it, you can only type here and in the text tab when your screen is minimized. I like working with a maximized screen, but you can't type text in there for some reason. Now I'm going to drag my clip 1 into video A and clip 2 into video B. I already know there's a couple of seconds on clip 1 that I want to take off. I intentionally added a few buffer seconds to make sure I didn't cut off anything important. I highly suggest for you to do the same when recording your own clips, both before and after the subject matter you want. So I then take the cut tool cut where I want to delete, take this part, and drag it up here to delete it. If you mess up, the undo button is here on the left side. My next step is to work on transitions. Go to the transitions tab here and you'll be able to see all the different options you have, which you can click in preview. Remember, keep your transitions professional. In other words, this one is probably not the best choice for this project. So I take my transition and put it in between my two clips in the transitions bar. Next, I want to add audio. So I'll go up to this tab. I already have one clip in here, but if you want to add audio, go to the add media button up here and repeat the same process you did for adding in video clips. Drag your audio clip down to the audio bar and place it where you want in your video. Let's preview what I have so far. As you can see and hear, my clip and the narrator's voice are too loud to have at once, so I need to lower the volume of the video clip. I'll take the scissors and cut where my audio and video line up. I'll then select the first part, go to the volume controls, and I can mute it, raise it, or lower it. And I'm going to lower it to about 5%. I'm also going to fade out by one second. Let's try that again. This documentary provides good look at the experiences of Muslims preparing for and going on the Hajj. Much better. Next, I want to add text to my video. I go to the text tab up here and choose that I want the fading text as shown here. And I want this for my title. I'll bring it to the beginning. Something I've noticed 
is that when the screen is maximized, I'm not able to type text in here. So I'll have to restore it and type the text in here. I'm going to preview the video once more before uploading it. This documentary provides a good look at the experiences of Muslims preparing for and going on the Hajj. Mecca is a year-round destination for Muslims, but the numbers will surge dramatically months from now during Hajj season. And that's enough to show you. I then go to the publish and download movie link down at the bottom right. Remember, publish download should be the last thing you do. Once you press the button, you will not be able to re-edit your video. You can upload the movie as a video clip and edit it that way, but that does lose a lot of quality. For this class, we'll be uploading the videos to YouTube. You will need to make a YouTube account if you do not already have one. You have the option to use your real name or make up one for privacy reasons. It's completely your choice. And since I'm still in the enlarged version, it's not letting me type anything in. So I'm gonna restore and try that again. Then put your username and password in. Make sure you follow directions and that your video is able to be accessible on YouTube. Here are a few things to remember. It is not mandatory to use JCut. If you feel comfortable with another program or want to try something other than JCut, please feel free. Your professor and TA will help you every step of the way. The university also has help available. You can rent voice recorders at Media Services in Moody 207. Carlos Tapia in Moody 309A is available to help with videos and editing. St. Edwards has great resources such as these that you should take advantage of. Second, Screencast-O-Matic is a program you should use if your documentary is on Netflix or Hulu and can't be downloaded. It allows you to get a copy of the screen while playing your movie and save the clip as an MP4. Again, publishing and downloading is the last thing you want to do. JCut is a great free program to use, but as with all new web-based programs, it has its limitations. When you do publish, you will not be able to edit your video anymore unless you upload again to JCut. If you do upload it again, there will be significant loss of quality. Have fun with your project and never hesitate to ask for help if you need it. Good luck.